All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the global thank you celebration for this year has officially begun. So without further ado, let's pop into the news and uh, check out what's going on. All right, so uh, here we go. Exploding gratitude, Dokkan thank you celebration. Uh, various events will become available. Obtain Dokkan thank you celebration gift card three through the login bonus, special missions, and the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign. Exchange them for powerful SSR characters at Baba Shop. Uh, on top of that, the new SSR Go Tanks and Majin Buu Good will show up in the Dual Dokkan Festival. Grab the chance to recruit them to your team. In addition, you don't want to miss out on other events including a new Extreme Z area. Okay, so I am happy that there's a new Extreme Z area. I'm not happy about the fact that they didn't talk about a new Extreme Z battle, which leads me to believe that there's not going to be one, which really sucks. Like, why is why is Bandai so against giving global new Extreme Z battles, especially Kale and Khalifla? Like, what's up with that? Anyways, let's move on. Uh, come join the events and enjoy Dokkan Battle. Okay, so we're getting some legendary summon banners with existing featured like LRs. So LR Baby is going to be one of them, and also the LR Goku and Frieza. I'm assuming there's going to be other ones too, maybe with like the uh, Trunks and Mai and uh, GT Trio maybe. I'm not really sure, but yeah, there will be a bunch of Legendary Summon Banners with existing LRs. Now, this is good for people who missed out on these units the first time they were featured, but obviously for veteran players, for people who've been playing for a while, not going to be that exciting, right? But that's going to be a thing. We got some uh, login bonuses. I believe we got 10 Dragon Stones for the first login, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, but we'll see in a second. Uh, login bonus, special missions. Uh, Purunga Dragon Ball campaign is finally back. I'll let you guys know exactly how to get all 14 of the Dragon Balls in a upcoming video. But for the first Dragon Ball, I believe all you got to do is spend one of the uh, thank you gift cards and you'll get that first ball, okay? We also got the selection for the uh, thank you gift cards in the Baba Shop. I'll make a separate video about that too, where we'll talk about like which units are good choices, which are not as good. All right. We got the, yes, four time, or sorry, uh, four hour restoration for the reward boost. So basically reduced by half, which is amazing. And we also got quadruple ranking XP. So if you guys are looking to farm your rank, then now's the best time to do it. And we also got a 30% sale in the Baba Shop hype, I guess. Uh, token events available every single day. Dragonstone sale, really good sales actually. I pretty much purchased all the stone sales with the exception of the final pack, but there was the uh, $30 pack, which I mean for you guys in the US it would be cheaper, but it was like 77 stones I think. I bought those ones, I bought the 32 stone packs, I bought the, basically all the packs like I said before the first one. So decent sales all things considered, at least compared to like a regular Dokkan Festival um, celebration. So yeah, go pick those up if you are, you know, pay to play players. We got the Dual Dokkan Festival. One thing I was really upset about is the fact that um, they did not change the banners at all, guys. The banners are exactly the same as they were on JP. I mean, given like how Super Buu was featured recently, how a bunch of these guys were featured recently, I, I thought they were going to at least like make one or two changes, but Apparently not, so that's unfortunate. Um, if you guys need my opinion about, you know, whether or not I think people should be summoning or skipping or whatever, go check out my video from a couple days ago. But um, if you don't want to watch that, basically, I think that most people should be skipping. Unless you really want Go Tanks and Boo, then do the discounts. There is the like 30, 40, 45 like stone discounts for the first three multis, plus the free multi, plus the tickets. So. It is a pretty good deal, but still, the value on the banners is not the greatest, especially for a Dual Dokkan Festival, in my opinion. Okay, so banners, we got the ticket banners, we got the premium ticket banners, which are available in the last pack in the Pilaf's Trove. It's a little bit more expensive, but I believe you get a guaranteed featured SSR. And uh, there's the Pilaf's Trove packs, there's step ups, there's three for each banner, and they get more expensive, but they also give you like better tickets too and better rewards and all that stuff. Um, of course, Elder Kai banner, Dokkan Festival uh, or Dokkan events for both Gotenks and Boo, and uh, the revamp for the renewal for the Great Saiyan Man story event. 
the new uh, Ultimate Clash is available too. Also the Extreme Z area for the Int Free to Play Frieza and also the AGL Cooler from the Baba Shop. Uh, the Full Power Frieza event is available every day during the campaign and the reason for that is because uh, the Free to Play Frieza, the Int Frieza is actually available from this event. And uh, we've got some story events coming back, World Tournament Reborn, Fearsome Majin, and Ultimate Final Battle. Um, two new stages of the Extreme Z Area Hero Extermination Plan event. I forgot which ones are actually awakening from these. Uh, I gotta go back and check, so that's my bad. I apologize. But two new stages for the, uh, the uh, Hero Extermination Extreme Z Area, as well as a new Explosive Chain Battle starting in about a week from now. And it's versus Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, a couple of GT... Ooh, actually this is good. I do need to farm some of these events. Okay, so yeah, two GT events... Come, uh, three GT events coming back. Also the Future Trunk Saga event coming back as well. And also we got some uh, Super Weekend missions. Which are basically the same thing as the Golden Weekend missions we got. A, uh, like, you know, from previous celebrations. So that looks like... That's all we're getting. Is there? Is this? Is just the? Is this just part two or something? Like there must be a part, or is it's is this just part one? Because there must be a part two, right? Unless, unless the part two is already built in, like this stuff is considered part two stuff. Maybe that might be it actually. Like this is starting on the thirteenth too, and it lasts until the 29th, So I'm thinking maybe like the part two is already built into the news here. Huh. Yeah. Um, it, it could. It, this celebration could have been better. Like, if there's nothing more coming, which I think might be the case, then yeah. Um, could have could have been a better celebration. I'm gonna just be honest. I'm gonna just be honest. We do have Facebook campaigns. So this is the first one. We got like a Go Tanks quiz thing. And uh, it's gonna give us some stones and stuff like that. And then we should be getting another social media campaign later on. So we're gonna be getting a good amount of stones from that. Um, as far as the login bonus goes, yeah, like I said, 10 dragon stones for first login. Last year we got 30. Okay, I looked into the news from last year, and for the uh, Trunks and Zamasu Jewel Dokkan Festival, we did get 30 dragon stones for the first login. So I don't know why we're only getting 10 here. That's also unfortunate. Feels like a little bit of a shaft, considering we got so much more last year, right? And, um, yeah, we got the Baba Shop selection. I'm going to quickly show you guys, you know, the choices. There are some really good options here, but I'll save the more in-depth analysis, if you will, for the upcoming video. But uh, if you want your Purunga Dragon Ball, you just got to spend one of these tickets and you'll get that ball. And uh, is there anything else here to talk about? I don't, I don't really think so. Oh, 4.1.2 or 4.12.0 has been released and it has made the game quite a bit more laggy, you know, compared to before, which is the same thing that happened on JP. And I was hoping they would have changed some things, but apparently, you know, it's still just as laggy. So it is what it is. Hopefully they'll, they'll fix that in the future. Um, we got the... Uh, you know, optimized view of the key spheres in battle. When you hold on to a key sphere, it tells you how many key you're getting, as well as how much key your character is going to be getting as well on the on the little wheel. And also, uh, non-usable characters are going to be no longer counted towards your box space. There's a separate tab for Kai's and Hercule statues on all that stuff. And uh, we're also getting like a new display for extreme Z areas where if you can't you know use it or can't uh, access it, you can click on it still. And it'll show you exactly which events you gotta clear to, you know, access it. And also, it's uh, teasing the EX skill orbs, or basically infinite skill orbs that won't disappear when they get replaced with the little infinity symbol on them. But we don't know um, how they're gonna be obtainable yet. So this is just like a, a teaser for an upcoming feature, I guess. And finally, we have some bug fixes, and that's it. So, um. Yeah, oh, special missions. Let's see how many stones we're getting here. Uh, complete all the daily missions and time missions from part one to get awesome rewards, including dragon stones, blah, blah, blah. Um, how many dragon stones, though? Let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine, or no, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
so 14 from the limited missions and then one per day so uh probably like 20 something 25 or something like that which is not bad and there will be part two missions too so in total i'm expecting about 50 stones from part one and part two missions combined and uh yeah guys that's that looks like all she wrote um hold on let me see if there's anything different here like are we getting mm, doesn't look like it i was gonna say are we getting the bobbity and boo oh you know what? i can check the baba shop for that let's go to treasure i don't think or did i say boo uh, Bobby and Deborah. I don't think Bobby and Deborah are available yet, but I'm gonna check real quick just to be 100% sure because I don't want to feed you guys any false information, of course. Uh, no, yes, Bobby and Deborah are still not available, unfortunately. Hopefully for the next one, I guess, but I'm not sure why it's it's being um, they're, they're, they're making us wait for so long because I'm, I'm pretty sure. Given like the the JP release, like we should have gotten them already. Like given like how long it's been since they were released on JP, but it is what it is. Uh, but there there you go, guys. That is the thank you celebration. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Do you think it's a good celebration? Are you underwhelmed? Were you expecting more? I was expecting a little bit more. I'll be honest. Okay, I was expecting at least a new Super Battle stages and also a new Extreme Z battle. Instead, we got a new Extreme Z area, which is okay but it's not anywhere close to as exciting as a new extreme z battle right because first of all the extreme z uh, extreme z awakenings for extreme z battles are usually better and also uh more stones which is obviously something we all want right so ah kind of sucks kind of sucks I, I don't think it's the worst thing like this celebration is the worst but it definitely could have been a lot better um granted we, we we might I don't want to say we might get more events because I don't think we will but I guess there's a slight chance but I, I think this might be it guys I think this might be it I think the part two is literally just like the extreme Z uh, the new stages for the hero extermination plan the new explosive chain battle and a couple of you know missions and story events coming back I think I think that's it um, but I could be wrong so we'll we'll wait and see but if this is all there is to it yeah, a little bit underwhelming. That's my opinion. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is the thank you celebration. Uh, thank you once again for watching. I uh, appreciate it as always. And if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.